great today. Well, God is so good to us. And of course, I have been running late. I have been running late this week. Our kids have been in town and our routine has changed a little bit. It's awesome to have them here. But of course, when that happens, things change a little bit. So I'm coming to you late today. But at the same time, I'm coming with a word of encouragement because even though we're so busy with Christmas Eve and so many things are happening, let me encourage you to make sure today that you share the fruit of the Spirit with someone, that you give them that love, joy, peace, gentleness, goodness, long-suffering, kindness. Make sure in this very busy time that we still reach out and care for people and love them because everybody's stressed out. Everybody's trying to get everything done. We're running, running, running. The weather's kind of mulky, and everybody's kind of in the middle of all sorts of stuff. So you today can make a difference in someone's life. You today, if you're traveling through the airport, you're watching this on your smartphone or on your tablet, or you're in the comfort of your home, wherever you may be today, you can make a difference in someone's life. You don't have to spend anything to do it. You don't have to go out of your way to do it. Just when you communicate, make sure you're kind and loving and caring. And I want to give you a challenge today because on Christmas Eve or New Year's Eve or whatever the case may be, we have all these love fests going on where people think that because of this particular day, we should act this particular way. And that's actually not true. We should do that all the time. We should have the love that we have, the giving heart that we have, the consistency, the 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 patterns of love and mercy. We should have that all the time. We should be persistent in living the right way every day, not just Christmas Eve or Christmas Day or New Year's Eve or New Year's Day or Thanksgiving or whatever. We should do that all the time. And I want to challenge you to not just do this once a year or twice a year, but try to make a practice of doing it every day. Because I know that people have this sort of harmonious family mindset at Christmas or Thanksgiving or whatever that they come together or the festives of a new year when we're going to start a new uh, uh role in our lives for 2015, or whatever the case may be. But I believe that it's biblical that we do this every day, that we share love, that we encourage, that we lift up, that we make a difference in somebody's life every day. And you can do that today. You can make the difference in somebody's life today. Carry on with them. Cut up with them a little bit. Make them laugh. Encourage them. Bless them. Care for them. Open a door. Let someone have the parking space. Let someone get in front of you in line. Let that not be a just a, a holiday time. Let that be an all-the-time time. I believe God would be pleased with us if we would take our holiday, so-called holiday spiritual attitude and giving and loving and caring and all that stuff and make that a daily activity. I believe God would be honored with that. I believe God would be pleased with that. And I believe you can do that if you submit yourself to him. So today, use your gifts wisely and may God bless you for it. God bless you. We love you and goodbye.